Integers. In this chapter, we are going to learn about integers. What are integers? Integers are the collection of all the positive numbers, all the positive numbers plus negative numbers. plus 0. So the collection of positive numbers, negative numbers and 0 all together called as integers. It is denoted by a letter i or z equal to So it is denoted like this. Now let us learn what are negative numbers. We know positive numbers. Generally the numbers that we use after 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, all these are positive numbers and we know that 0. But what are these negative numbers? The numbers that have a negative value are called negative numbers. In our daily life, in various situations, we use negative numbers. When we talk about profit and loss, to denote the loss, we use a negative number and when we talk about temperatures, high temperatures and low temperatures, to mention that very low temperatures, we use a minus number. In the same way, talking about past and future, that is the past, when we go back, we use minus numbers. In this way, we use negative numbers in our daily life. Let us see some examples. The loss in a business is minus 2 lakhs. So this is a loss. So we are writing it as a negative number. As it is a loss, we are writing it as a negative number. If it is a profit, we don't write this minus symbol. So as it is a loss, we are writing it as minus 2 lakhs. In the same way, the temperature is minus 5 degrees. When do we write minus 5 degrees? It is very cold, below 0, less than 0. So we use minus sign to tell that low temperature minus 5 degrees Celsius. Now we'll see some more examples. Let us see some more examples. Here a bird is flying on surface of a sea. So the height of the bird is 25 meters. It's going up. So this is a positive number. Now in the water there is a fish at a depth of 5 meters. So it's going down below the water level. So minus 5 meters we can use. And look at another example. This is the ground level. Above the ground level, 500 meter high. On the peak of this mountain, there is a flag. So 500 meter above the ground level, whereas 25 meters below the ground level, there is a small hut and a flag. So this is below the ground level, we can use minus 25. We can use a minus negative number. So in this way, in our daily life, we use positive numbers and negative numbers. Representation of integers on a number line. Now let us observe this number line. At the center of this number line, we have a zero. Here, right side to zero, all these numbers are positive numbers. So the numbers which lie on the right side of 0 are positive numbers. And if you see the left side of 0, here we find negative numbers. So whatever the numbers that are on the left side of 0 are called negative numbers and the numbers on the right side of 0 are called positive numbers. So from this number line, we get answers to many questions. See here the question. Which integer on this number line is neither positive nor negative? 0. 0 is neither negative nor positive. Which positive number is the closest to 0? So which positive number? These are all positive numbers, but the closest number is 1. 1 is the closest positive number to 0. 
So now here, minus 3, minus 2, which one is greater number? Minus 3 is bigger or minus 2 is bigger? Minus 2 is bigger. Minus 3 is less than minus 2. That is, on a number line, if we go from right to left, the value of the number decreases. If you move from left to right, the value of the number increases. So, minus 4 is always less than minus 3. Minus 3 is bigger. So, if you compare minus 3 and minus 2, minus 2 is bigger when compared to minus 3. If you compare minus 1, minus 1 is bigger than minus 2. Now, let us see minus 3 and 2. Which one is bigger? Minus 3 and 2. Which is a bigger number? 2 is a bigger number because the 2 is a positive number which is on the right side of 0 whereas minus 3 which is on the left side. So, there are 5 places difference between minus 3 and 2. So, 2 is the bigger number. So, in this way we can locate integers both positive and negative numbers on a number line. Now, let us see how to add and subtract on a number line. First, we will see the addition on a number line. Now, we are going to add some integers on a number line. So, we know the integers, they are positive numbers, negative numbers, 0. So, here we are going to add and subtract some integers, that is positive and negative numbers. Now, here in the first example, 2 plus 3, here both are positive numbers, 2 and 3 are positive numbers. So, how do we do this on a number line? 2 plus 3, so on the number line from 0, we move two positions to right side. This is addition. So, we have to move right side, two positions plus 3. Again from 2, three positions we have to move. We reached 2 plus 3 equal to 5. So, now let us see the next example. The second one, minus 4 and minus 3. So, here is the addition of two negative numbers, minus 4 and minus 3. So, on the number line, from 0, we have to move to left side, minus 4. First, we have to move to minus 4, from 0 to minus 4 and minus 3, 3 positions. First, 4 positions, 3 positions. We reached minus 7. So, minus 4 plus minus 3 equal to minus 7. So, on a number line, if we add minus 4 and 3, we reach minus 7. Now, see the third example. In the third example, minus 3 plus 5. So, 0 to minus 3. Again, plus 5. So, we have to go 5 positions to the right side because it is a positive number. 5 positions to right side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we are going till 2. So, minus 3 plus 5 is equal to plus 2 plus 2. So, in this way, we can do addition on a number line. Now, let us see subtraction. 6 minus minus 5. That means we have to subtract minus 5 from 6. So, here starting at 0, we have to move to 6 at first. Now, from 6, we have to move 5. Here, we are moving 5 positions to right, not to the left. Because if it is simply minus 5, we would have moved from right to left. But here, it is minus 5, minus 5. So, minus, minus, it becomes plus 5. So, from 6, we have to move to 5 positions, we reach 11. So, 6 minus, minus 5 is equal to 11.